cool, cool, cool. So that. Oh, wow, they're joking right, in, right into it. Right into it, and this is game number one Meta Knight versus Pokemon Trainer one, Sweet Tea and Syro. Yeah, Meta Knight, uh, despite. Uh, uh, unless a couple of changes. Uh, he's pretty much the same character, just has a little bit of a difficult time landing a ladder, but he's got a couple of other things off stage to be able to use instead. He's got some nice setups too, so. Let's see how this goes down. Down throw? Let's see what the combo he goes for. Up tilt, I like it. He'd recognize it. You know that he could get a potentially a big juggle off of the up tilt if he can land it. Oh, okay. I like that. The double razor leaf to bring himself back to the stage. And I was able to use the tether to be even safer. Yep, you can cover a lot of space with it and it keeps you very safe. Or you can drift down and potentially get... Oh, oh, oh no. And the directional air dodge that's going to cost Sweet T. The charge dodge is going to be out to play now. Yeah, it looked like he got clipped at the very last minute and then just uh, didn't know where he was and the directional air dodge came out, like you said. Oh, yes. Bear 1 is uh, kind of difficult to land as a Meta Knight, but if you can get it, it sets up into so many... Great combos because the fix not back. Oh, catching the down smash, the roll onto the stage of such great option coverage from uh, Sweet T. Tries to go down with a, a down air, and uh, not something I typically see people trying to d use as an edge guard for Squirtle, but well, hey, I, he plays Squirtle and I don't. Yeah. Ooh, the four smash, not quite going to connect. Withdraw is a good get out of me tool. The only things it loses to is like a, pick, a hitbox large enough to stop it completely or footstool. So in that corner position is very nice to use. All right, using withdrawal once again, getting a quick hit, putting Cyro off stage. Interesting that he stayed as Squirtle, but the back throw here, even from center, Sage is going to do the trick. And now I do like that the Squirtle is still out, even though he's pretty close to kill percentage. He still has, uh, you know, if he can just get one grab, that's going to be a lot of damage for Sweet T onto Cyro. Oh, and he gets started with the dash attack, nearly getting something beautiful. Alright, the Mock Tornado, not quite gonna get anything, there's a lot of end lag on it, so... He tried to get the second up air too, but just not enough hit stun. Alright, Razor Leafs, and he gets a grab from it, into the Vine Whip as well. Yep. Uh-oh. That was definitely a miss input, and that'll cost them too. Back air into shuttle loop, confirming. I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. You can use back air one and two. As long as you don't get that last hit that sends us off stage, you can use the fixed knockback on both one, one, two to That's pretty get an upbeat. And it's a much reliable than dash attack because you can DI that a little bit more reliably too. Ooh! Try to find a tech chase after that down tilt. Down tilt does send you into trouble at higher percents, but it's not quite going to work out. Doesn't quite have enough time to find it. But he uses the dimensional cape instead. Yeah. And Syro moving up two stocks to one in this game number one. Uh, Sweet T did have an unfortunate stock uh, loss near the beginning, so it's something to keep in mind. But Cypher Toss? That's not quite going to do it. Yeah, Meta Knight is light, but he's not quite that light. Mm -hmm. Oh, that should be a punish. Oh, he went for a grab? I'm surprised he didn't just go down smash, forward smash. like. I recognize the situation because it's like one of those things like, oh, I don't know where he might drift. Yeah. He might hit the ledge yeah. before my smash attack comes out. So he just went for the guaranteed thing that he could do. But Squirtle back throw, that'll do it. All right, and only 32% on him too. He's a much, in a much better spot than when I previously mentioned. If he can get any sort of combo starter, he starts with the forward air and he actually gets himself a grab forcing Cyro into shield. Oh, oh again? Uh, not gonna get the second one, but I love that. Using the water gun to set up enough time so you can switch the Ivy Sword to be able to do that. Very similar to how Leffen would play uh, back in the day. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm sure he still plays like that, but he's been using other characters as well. It's <laughs> funny, like, back, in the day, back in the day, I remember when Leffen played for one character. <laughs> you mean like a month ago? No? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, he dropped that character quick. Unfortunate, but here we go. Uh, Sweet T looking for this up smash, potentially catching uh, a misplaced landing from Syro. Flamethrower is going to do a lot of damage here too. Oh, oh the down tilt not going to quite send it to tumble yet. No chase position, but he's going to get that up smash. Syro still trying to make his way in. It's not quite working out. He's just standing right outside the range of that back air, trying to find that burst option with either the dimensional cape or the dash attack. It's not finding its mark, and of course that flamethrower so good at clipping you off stage. Oh, is he gonna down smash, or what's he gonna, what's the punish gonna be? Oh, wow, Dimensional Cape has very little end lag from what I can see. 
Oh, the Flare Blitz, free punish. Oh, got him. Sweet T going down one game here against Cyro. And this is our first set of winner semi, so this will be a best of five. So got a little bit more wiggle room here for Sweet T to work with. Yeah. Wonder if uh, the Pichu is going to come out, maybe the Palutena. Um, I mean, I, I, I like the play with the Pokemon Trainer so far. It was working out. Then he had a really unfortunate sto early stock loss in that first game. Could have been avoided, nonetheless. Here we are in game number two. And it's definitely looking like he's deliberating, and the Pichu is out to play. Pichu is such a potent character, really, really combo heavy. Uh, incredible frame data is pretty much like what you can say about this character. Yep, and the kill potential is off the charts. I think uh, I've said this before, but one of the Pichu's like bigger weaknesses, yeah, uh, or at least things that make things easier in a matchup, is long sweeping hitboxes like Lucina Square, for, for sure. example. Yeah. Range. But, yeah. But Meta Knight doesn't quite have that besides his dare and up air. But other than that, oh my God, he just got sent off stage one more time into another dare, but doesn't get the meteor hitbox. Still big damage coming out from uh, <laughs> Sweet T, and he's able to get the forward smash by the ledge. Only 18%. This is exactly what you want to see from a Pichu, especially considering since he's the lightest character in the game. He's halfway to kill percent right now. Yep. Let's see. Burst in was an option, but the landing hitbox actually interrupts that dash attack. Unfortunately. Okay, a bit of a lightning loop, not quite executed to perfection. Still gets some sort of damage. Makes it back with those multiple dunks that Meta Knight's known for. But gets clipped again by a forward smash. Thunder Jolts by the ledge, just trying to force uh, Cyro's recovery to uh, get messed up a little bit. Catching the air dodge. Here. Put him off stage. Potentially another run off there. He's pressuring with these Thunder Jolts to try and catch an option and keep him off stage as much as possible to force him to use a, a B move later on. Okay, back air from Cyro, that'll do the trick. 96% on this second stock, though. Sweet T on the chase. Thunder Jolts at the ledge. That's such a tricky situation, too. He doesn't get the drag down on the uh, Thunder to get the uh, kill. Not able to combo anything off that dash attack. But Cyro, not able to get anything off of that either. I think Pichu is just a little bit too light. I mean, she is the lightest character in the game after all. Oh, but the trip on the down tilt still able to confirm after the tech roll. Oh. Ooh, that was so scary for uh, Sweet T right there. He gets jabbed off stage. I like the attempt from Cyro knowing that agility doesn't have a hitbox, so he could, he's free to try and challenge it and with his long-lasting aerials like back air as much as possible. Okay, Thunder Joel into the grab. That's going to be big damage. 30% for Sweet T right now on this last stock of Cyro's. Okay, Cyro able to find some sort of opening. He was going to get caught by that down air spike with the, his, down, his own down air actually saving him. Does. He's having a hard time trying to find the kill. Oh, he could have done a thunder right there, but probably just wanted to read the DI first to see how well he reacts to up yeah. throw first before the committing to the thunder. Yeah, the tried time. to try to follow up with a back air, which is equally as strong, but uh, clanking with Cyro's own hitboxes. So. Still solidly in the lead here, and he gets him with a dash cancel. <laughs> F tilt and moving into game number three now with both players one on the board. If I was Cyro, and this is just me being a betting man, I would want him to go Falco. Just because, one, I've seen Larry do it against Void, yeah. and it's worked out and it worked. better. Yeah. yeah. And then second, like I said before, he has those long-lasting hitboxes, he's got a long-lasting bear, fair, and the up there and dare lasts a pretty decent amount of time too. Going for the Roy, that works too, but I feel like, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I feel like uh, Roy kind of suffers the same issues. His, his boxes come out too quickly, where Pichu is so small, he's able to avoid most of them uh, regardless. And here we go into Smashville for game number three. Cyro already making quick work with his Roy, and, and this is what you were talking about earlier, characters that have those, uh, long, those long hitboxes, those disjointed hitboxes, like a sword in particular, that can uh, do really well against Pichu. However, he's also the perfect combo weight for Pikachu to do whatever he wants to. Wow, that Here's landing there actually uh, jab locked, but Sweet Sweet not quite finding the right option afterwards. But still gonna put him off stage. Edge guard. 
Okay. Oh, okay. The Blazing Sword is a little bit too big this time around. Dagger. Okay. Sending Syro back off stage, and he goes for the high recovery, a good mix up. That's not going to be enough, not from all the way to the other side. Both players an even percent right now, but I mean, you could say that uh, that Pichu has lived a little bit too long. All the follow up, not going to be able to get anything. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was an up tilt that traded with a what? Like, I think that was F tilt. F tilt, uh, F -tilt, F -tilt trading yeah. with. Uh, oh, Pichu's F tilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trading with Roy's what? Up tilt, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, but the oh, under control keeps them off stage. I just blinked and the stock's gone already. Bro. All right, sweet T, man. Sending a message, 5% on his first stock. And I mean, that damage, you got to remember, Pichu damages himself when he's uh, hitting, when he's using these electrical attacks. All right. Oh, man. The dare spike. Oh, into the fair, put him off stage one more time. I like that time he drifts downward just to make sure he doesn't get hit by the Thunder Jolt again into another dare. All right. Makes it back safely. Syro is trying to find an answer here to Sweet T's aggression. The drag down, he's able to find the tech, and uh, Sweet T not quick enough to find the tech chase. He did dash forward, he just, uh, he, was, he didn't commit to the grab, knowing that he was, might get punished for it. Oh, the directional air dodge, I like it. Sweet T didn't have enough resources to keep himself up, and wow, the F tilt on the tech chase. 159% now on Syro, though. Dash attack. I think he just needs to blink at him and then it'll be dead. Just spam F tilt. <laughs> yep, that's it. Dude, the, it didn't even look like the F tilt came out. Are we sure that was F tilt? Like, I'm pretty sure it was because he, he went for the um, pivot cancel F tilt, but like, <laughs> that looks so weird. Like, I didn't even see his toes come out. Hey, man, it's frame five, so <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll hit a lot of stuff that in thing trade is at the middle. Fast! Oh yep. my god. <laughs> yep. So sweet team moving so, up 2-1. To quote Void in the Pichu Discord, I don't know why they made that move so strong. Dude, why? <laughs> like, actually, why? Maybe they were thinking, oh, <laughs> maybe Pichu doesn't have enough kill he's options, so, he's so, so let's light. get that F-tilt. You know, I don't know. Need yeah. him to kill, kill everyone at 40. Yeah, theory crafting, man. While you're programming, sometimes it'll just happen. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is what, okay, Falco. Thinking it. I want it. He's thinking about it. Falco. He's, I mean, I, the fact I that, it, the fact that he's, his, his gears are turning. Oh, the Roy is back. Darn. Okay. Well, we're not going to see the Falco quite yet. Sweet T with a very commanding uh, set so far using after switching to the Pichu. Well, we'll see how this goes down. All right. Game number two, and he's starting off with the immediate up tilts into up bears and then the downer to finish it off. Uh, setting up a neutral reset and actually getting so much more damage after it. Uh-oh. I like the way that uh, he's getting so much damage off of um, just reading Cyro's aggression as well and recognizing he's going to come in with a hitbox right now. I'm going to spot dodge it into the up tilt or F tilt, which comes out so fast. So it's just like a really uh, solid strategy for Pichu. Right. Uh, Sweet T's, well, Cyro's having a hard time hitting him. Sweet T's doing a good job of avoiding him. Both factors that are making it difficult because of Pichu's very small size. And Roy just can't quite find the timing on it. If he gets oh. the right positioning, it's difficult for him to even hit him because he gets shield out just nice. Time. Yeah, and great read on the DI coming out for Sweet T off of the down throw, or uh, off of the up throw, excuse me, able to read the DI out and following through with the dash forward into the Thunder. Up air drug goes into the dare, reset. Oh. Not gonna get that re grab. It's pretty much a guess of how they're gonna land and not quite finding it, but still getting a decent amount of damage and the up air still not being able to kill. Alright, jumping right over the forward tilt, getting a forward air of his own. Sweet T. Getting a lot of stock mileage right now. 74% on Cyro, hit him with the jolt into the neutral air. The edge guard is sick right now. Oh, again. again! Again, the Thunder goes, but it's oh, so predictable gone. to know what angle Roy wants to go. As soon as you see him start fastballing, and he goes beneath the ledge, all right, I got a Thunder Zone already there, and I'm going to hit you with an air to get him. All right, Roy just needs to sneeze on him right now, and then Pichu's gone, deleted. But can he do it? Let's see if Syro can make this stock happen. 
Pot dodging the grab again, and look at it. it it's like, hey, your punish became my combo. <laughs> yep, very unfortunate. Oh. Four Smash takes him off one more time. Looks like oh, Sweetie has a Kleenex because sneezing on it is not <laughs> oh quite going to work out right now. Oh my god. Oh, you can tell Cyro just wants to get a stock up, but it's not quite happening. He's trying to find landing there one, four tilt, anything, and it's not quite working in his favor. 184%. This rat should not live that long. Yeah, it's a rat poison or something. There's no way. There's no way this Pichu should be alive right now. Oh, just run up. Get the cancel four tilt. Not gonna get the thunder tilt catch. Oh, and the up tilt. One more time into the dare, into the thunder. This this match is pretty much all but over at this point. Okay. Okay, finally landing on the, the, the down air at 190. Sure, I mean, we'll take it, man. 129. He's got two stocks to make up here. It's so hard to get these punishes on Pichu. I mean, even if you do have the, the disjoint like we were mentioning before, the character is so small that a lot of his moves, when, when he lands with them, they, they pancake him. And there's the F tilt, and that'll do it. Yep, that's, uh, I mean, that's the hard part of this game sometimes. <laughs>